Today I'm going to use my food saver. It is a V2840. I believe I've had it about three or four years. And when I've talked about using the spacers on it, this is what I read on reviews on Amazon. To protect this heat strip, the duflachi that seals it, is to leave a little spacer so that it's not always sealed on there when you have it stored. So what I'm going to do today is seal up some ham that we had on sale into meal packages for two people. So everybody goes, you cannot sue, uh, seal meat in a food saver. I do it by using wax paper and I'm just going to give you a quick video on it. Other than that, I just got red potatoes on the stove and maybe making some tater salad today because I am in South Carolina and when the sun's shining and it's summertime, it is tater salad time. All the time. So here is my large container of ham that my husband sliced. And I am, of course, saving the ham bone. Then what I have is just large pieces of wax paper. And I'm going to make myself some ham meal packs. And then I'll show you how I seal them up in the food saver to where, I'm sorry, yeah, the food saver. So then it doesn't suck up the juice into it and break my food saver. These things aren't free, but wax paper is close enough for me. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So here are my little packets of ham. And I've folded them up into packages. So I just wrap it around, seal my edges. I do the same on anything that I am putting in, whether it's ground meat, whatever, pork chops, whatever I'm freezing, I do this way. So I'm going to date it. And I just write ham for two. So let's say I had company. I would know I need two packs. So all I'm going to do is line it up in my little sucky tray. Close her down. I do use the moist setting. And I just hold it out so that I can make sure I can read what I have written there. And I have myself a spiffy little package of ham that will not go bad in the chest freezer. So to store these, I'm just going to put them in a, say, a grocery bag like Publix or Philo. And I'm going to put a little piece of cardstock on it that says ham. So it's the easiest way to find things in my chest freezer. And I do have a chest freezer organization video you can see. And I put a little legend on the top so I know where they are. So I'll just seal up these other two, four packs. It'll give me five packs of ham for two people and meals. Lots of things I can do with this. Mouse toes out.